coming to video cassette and DVD. Charlotte's Web, one of the most beloved children's movies, based on the book by E.B. White, is now available to own on video and DVD. And look for Charlotte's Web 2, Wilbur's Great Adventure, a brand new feature-length movie, debuting only on video and DVD, Spring 2003. Now available on video cassette and DVD. We've got ourselves a bogey. Anticipate visual contact now. Holy! Huh? Hi, nice antiques. Got a blast! Meet Jimmy Neutron. He's a boy genius. Oops. In school. What are you trying? My latest invention. He's light years ahead of the pack. The shrink ray. Will it work on your big head? <laughs> But in being cool... Bubble travel is the way of the future! He's got a little catching up to do. Nice invention, Nerdtron! <laughs> Better luck next time! Oh. Ah! Yeah! James ah! Isaac Neutron! I didn't do it! Oh, stop, drop, and roll! Okay, Jimmy, that's the last straw. Mom says you're grounded. Maybe I should check on him. No, I don't... Freeze that image! The search is over. <laughs> Our parents have been kidnapped by aliens! There are absolutely no adults anywhere within radar. These crummy aliens stole our parents! It's time to show them what we're made of! Yeah! Okay, that gives us about two days to design and test our fusion engines and build our fleet of interstellar warships. Any questions? If we blow up, whatever's left of me is kicking your butt. Here we go! Here we go! From Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon Movies... Hang on, everyone! This year... Get ready to blast. I may be small, but I've got a big brain. You know, for a nerd, he sure comes in handy. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. I didn't think we liked girls yet, Jim. Oh, we don't. We don't. No. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. No. Now on video and DVD. Introducing three brand new home videos from Nick Jr. Play along with Dora and friends. The adventure never ends. In Dora's backpack adventure. I need your help to wind up my fishing line. Learn to read with Steve and Blue. Help them out and spot the clue. In reading with Blue. Hi, right, Blue. Ready to read your book? And Little Bear in Campfire Tales. Braving mountains and seas and whales. Top of the world! New from Nick Jr., look for Dora's Backpack Adventure, Little Bear's Campfire Tales, and Reading with Blue. Available now wherever videos are sold. Get ready, get set, let's go! Nick Jr.'s on home video. And coming soon, look for new Blue's Clues videos with Joe. SpongeBob's coming to video and DVD! When ten of us holds it or something to see. His body is yellow and his pants are brown. If nautical tales make you get up and dance. Jerry's a snail, not a hound. You'll be splitting your sides, you'll be splitting your pants. You'll hope for King Mighty weighs less than a pound. Ahoy, mateys! SpongeBob's a coming! For the first time on video and DVD, it's nautical nonsense and Sponge Buddies. See SpongeBob himself in all his jellyfish and crabby patty flipping glory. What a great day. Love that SpongeBob. And his first mate, Patrick, full of gleeful angst. I was one of the beautiful people. Now look at me. And Sandy Cheeks, <laughs> shiver me timbers. You don't want to mess with that, Lassie. Don't you dare take the name of Texas in vain. You go, Squirrel. And Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Gary the Snail. Meow. 
It's the whole gang from Bikini Bottom! SpongeBob at his finest, I tell ye! Uh. Nautical nonsense and sponge buddies! Two must see rip roaring epics! We give it four starfish! Never before has a sponge been so absorbing. Tour Bikini Bottom without putting on a wetsuit! Tis ten splashy episodes of SpongeBob at his swabbiest! Nautical nonsense and sponge buddies! Available now on video cassette and DVD! SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants! And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. A banana. Mm. Bananas are yummy. Did you know that monkeys love bananas? <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> Little Bear is next. <laughs> <laughs> Flower? Flower. Uh, Everything all right in there? Everything's fine, Mother Bear. <laughs> what next? Honey? Mm-hmm, lots of honey. Uh-oh. Do you need any help? Oh, no, we're fine. It's going really well, really. What else? Um, milk? Butter. And jam. Sure. How about cookies? Mm-hmm. Some berries. I like all those things. Anything else in there I like? How about a fish? Oh, yes. Throw that in, too. You're funny. 
There. Mmm, these are going to be good cupcakes. What do you think? Well, how does it taste? Interesting. I'm sure it will taste better when it's cooked. Of course. Mother Bear, we're ready! Remember, ovens get very hot. Yes, Mother okay. Bear. Hmm, that looks interesting. In it goes. And now we wait till all the sand runs out. are cooked. They look done. Just a bit more waiting until the cupcakes are cool enough to eat. Aww. I think they're ready, don't you? Mm-hmm. My cupcake is hard. Mine too. They're as hard as rocks. Everything all right in there? Oh, everything's fine. Quick, let's put them in this bag. I wonder what went wrong. Mmm, something smells good in here. Hello, Mother Bear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, where are the cupcakes? Cupcakes? Aren't you going to offer your mother a cupcake? We would, Mother Bear, but, um, we ate them? You ate them? All of them? They were very good cupcakes. Well, if I can't have one of yours, I guess I'll have to make my own. Do you need any help? Absolutely. It's always more fun when you have a little help. One, two, three. One, two, three. Why do we stir it this way? That's the way my mother always did it. Three times one way, then three times the other way. It's fun. Can I add the nuts? Sure. Keep stirring, little bear. One, Two, three. One, two, three. I love cupcakes. Do you know why you love cupcakes, little bear? Because they taste yummy. Yes, but also because you were cooked on cupcakes. Cooked on cupcakes? What does cooked on cupcakes mean? Well, when you were in my tummy, growing and getting ready to be born, I was eating cupcakes all the time. Sugar and eggs, butter and cream, flour, a pinch of cinnamon, and nuts. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Mmm, doesn't that taste good? Do you like that? Did I like that? Very much. Did I lick the bowl? <laughs> you weren't born yet, little bear. I forgot. So I licked the bowl myself. But I was wishing for a little cub just like you to help me lick the bowl. Mother bear, you make the best cupcakes. But I didn't always. Wait till you hear the end of the story. <laughs> what went wrong? 
Oh dear. Instead of cupcakes, I've baked a bunch of rocks. What was wrong with the cupcakes? I had left something out. What did you leave out? Baking powder. Oh. Baking powder makes the cupcakes fluffy and soft. Careful, they're hot. Delicious. Mmm, <sighs> delicious. Mother Bear? Hmm? Emily and I really didn't eat all of our cupcakes. You didn't? Our cupcakes turned into rocks, too. We forgot the baking powder. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> something smells delicious. Sardine flavor. Mm, my favorite. But why is this sardine stuck in this rock? <laughs> what? my wagon. Father loves cookies. Blackberry jam. Grandmother's favorite. Is the soup ready, Mother? Yes, it is, little bear. <laughs> Thank you. Soup, my favorite. Well, I'm all packed. Yes, and I'm sure Grandmother Bear will be thrilled with your gifts. Have fun. And don't make Grandfather Bear too tired. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Should help. Hello, little bear. Hello, duck. We're having some biscuits and jam. Would you like some? Mmm, sure. Thank you. Oh, dear. We finished the jam. I'm sorry, little bear. That's okay, duck. I've got some jam in my wagon. How incredibly lucky. Look, everyone. Little bear has brought us some jam. Um, I was saving it for... Oh, it's just so thoughtful of you. <laughs> It's delicious jam. Thank you, little bear. Thank, Thank you, little bear. bear. Thank you for the biscuit. Well, I better be going. Goodbye. Bye, Bye little, little bear. bear. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh! Hello, little 
little bear? Heading someplace special? To grandmother's house. Looks like you've got a special load in that wagon. What's in the pot? Soup. Soup? Mmm, <laughs> it smells very good, doesn't it? It's my favorite. Mm. Maybe the pot is a bit too full. It is very full, isn't it? Way too full. Perhaps we could empty it into some bowls. If I had any bowls. Oh, what a shame. If only you did. Do you have any bowls? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> that was delicious. Well, it's not too full anymore. No, it isn't, is it? At least I still have the cookies. Well, thanks, Cat. I better get going. See you. Hello, little bear. Hello, hen. What have you got in the wagon? Well, I had soup in this pot and jam in this jar, and now all I have are some cookies. What's so bad about cookies? Nothing, but... They look fine to me. But we should try them to make sure. I guess we should, shouldn't we? Mmm, they're delicious. You should try one. Maybe just one. Mmm. Ah! Where are you going? To Grandmother's house. But it's taking longer than I thought. I love visits. Did you bring your grandmother a nice gift? I brought her some soup and some jam and some cookies. But now they're all gone. All gone? You mean you ate all the gifts for your grandparents? Well, not just me. I ran into Duck and I ran into Cat and then you. Oh, no, little bear. Dear, dear, dear. Go on, you better get going. You don't want to be late, too. Ooh. Hello, little bear. Hello, grandmother. Hello, grandfather. We're so happy to see you. You've come with your wagon. I was bringing you some gifts, but then along the way... They sort of, uh... Look, Grandfather, it's a wonderful gift. It is? Oh, yes. Thank you, little bear. How thoughtful you are. Come in, come in. It's just what we needed. These will be perfect right here. Isn't that lovely? Now, let's all have lunch. Or having your favorite things. Soup and bread, and jam, and cookies. How does that sound? It sounds very good. Mother Bear? Mother Bear? Happy birthday, little bear. Thanks. 
Mother Bear has forgotten my birthday. My friends will be over soon for cake and games. I know. I'll be the host. Let's see. We have carrots and potatoes. Some peas and tomatoes. These won't make a cake. Hmm. I'll make birthday soup. she be? How could she forget? I'll make a very nice birthday soup. Mm. Mother Bear will wish she were here to have some. Hey! Many happy returns on your birthday, little bear. Mmm, honey. Thank you, Hen. You're very welcome. Are we having that wonderful cake again this time? Well, no, but there will be birthday soup. How delightful. Quack! Dandelions. Thank you, duck. Happy birthday! Where's the cake? There's no cake. This year we're having birthday soup instead. Mmm, yummy. Have you had birthday soup before? No. <gasps> Cat, you startled me. I know. Happy birthday, little bear. Mmm, I love apples. Thank you, Cat. We don't get any cake this year. Hmm. But I smell something. It's birthday soup. Is it chicken soup? <coughs> I like chicken soup. No. Oh, is it duck soup? Quack! <coughs> duck soup will do. No. It's just birthday soup. Hmm. Okay. There. Now we just have to wait for it to be done. What do we do till then? Let's play musical chairs. Everyone get ready. I win? No, Duck, you're out. Oh. I won. What's my prize? How about a uh, ball of yarn? Now what? Soup should be ready. At least, I think it's ready. Shouldn't we wait for Mother Bear? No. I guess Mother Bear will just have to miss it. Head. <laughs> ah, it's delicious. <laughs> yes, divine. 
I'm full. I'm not. Here, eat up. Where can she be? Well, I'm all out of things to do. Uh, why don't you try closing your eyes? Closing my eyes? Yes, and counting to three. One, two, three! three. <gasps> Mother Bear! Happy birthday, little bear. I thought you'd forgotten my birthday. I wanted to surprise you with this cake, but it took longer than I expected. I never did forget your birthday, and I never will. How about some cake? First, little bear must blow out his candles. And make a wish. <sighs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> what did you wish for, my little bear? If I told you, it wouldn't come true. I wish somebody would cut the cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, little bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, look at me! Three, four, five, I'm alive! Let's make a few extra cookies. But there's only three of us. <laughs> four of us. Five of us. Oh, yes, we can't forget Lucy. Why don't we make enough for all of us? And all of our friends, too? It's always a good idea to have extra gingerbread cookies. Mm-hmm. Hickory, dickory, six and seven. Alabone, crackabone, ten and eleven. Spin, spun, almost done. Twiddlem, twaddlem, twenty-one. What's that? Oh, it's just a little rhyme I like to say when I'm baking gingerbread cookies. You try it. Hickory, dickory, six and seven. Alabone, crackabone, ten and eleven. Spin, spun, almost done. Paddle One, it, mix no, some, uh, right in, in, paddle two. <laughs> I'm the grand leader of the gingerbread cookies. And I'm the queen of the gingerbread cookies. What's that one supposed to be? I'm the polka dot gingerbread cookie. Yes. <laughs> here, yeah, here would look nice. Oh, there. Well, that's nice, little bit. Time to put the cookies in the oven. Now we have to wait. <laughs> Delicious, Granny. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. They're too hot to eat right now. But you have to watch them very carefully. Watch them? I'd rather eat them. Oh, if you don't watch gingerbread cookies carefully, they might just get up and run away. Really? Oh, Granny. Oh, especially if it's snowing outside. Gingerbread cookies love to play in the snow. Well, how long do we have to watch them? Until they're cool enough to eat. Oh. Don't let them out of your sight. I'm going out back for some firewood. Keep your eyes on them. Gingerbread cookies can be very, very sneaky. I think I saw one blink. I think I saw one move. Hickory, dickory, six and... Alabone sticks and bones? 
no. <laughs> Alabone, crackabone. 10 and 11. Right. Spin, spun, almost done. Twiddle em, twaddle em. 21. We did it. We got it right. Spin, spun, almost done. Twiddle em, twaddle em, 21. <laughs> Snowfall! <gasps> Charge! Snow, snow, snow! <gasps> Wait! You can't leave. We're supposed to keep an eye on you. Then we're supposed to eat you. <laughs> you can't eat us if you can't catch us! Gingerbread cookies can be very, very sneaky. <laughs> there they are! Where? <laughs> Over there! Come back! <sighs> come Wait! Back here. Come back! <laughs> What was that? Something just ran through my house. Those were gingerbread cookies. We're chasing them. I love gingerbread cookies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. What hit me? It's the gingerbread cookies. We have to catch them. Gingerbread cookies? Mm. Hey, come back here! <laughs> what? What? I'm going to eat you. Come back. Gingerbread cookies! Woohoo! Gingerbread cookies? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing our gingerbread cookies didn't run away. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. There's only one way to make sure gingerbread cookies don't run away. What's that? Eat them. Has anybody seen the Grand Leader gingerbread cookie? Not me. Not me. Did you? I didn't see him. See you later. I'm Nick Junior. <laughs> <laughs>